clap your hands and wave your arms. Play the drums and then rock the guitar. So clap your hands and wave your arms. You can play. Clap your hands and wave your arms. Play the drums and then rock the guitar. Oh, clap your hands and wave your arms. You can play the drums and then rock the guitar. and I can't wait to go through it with you. That's right, but first, I think I wanna find my dog, Chipper. Can you guys help me? Yes? Okay, ready? Chipper, Chipper. Hmm, do you guys see him yet? No? All right, maybe we have to yell a little louder. He was outside playing in the sandbox, so I know it's, it's kinda of hard to leave the sandbox if you're having fun, so let's call him a little bit louder. All right, friends? Are you good? Oh, good. All right, are you ready to come in and eat? Okay, I have some pretty good dog biscuits and stuff for you, right? Mm-hmm, I know, Chipper loves dog biscuits, but... <gasps> oh, Chipper, what happened to your hands? Oh, do you feel bad? You don't have to feel bad, Chipper. No, you don't. Were you playing in the sand, Chipper? <laughs> Chipper was. Look at how dirty Chipper's feet are. Okay, I think what we need to do is wash your hands before we go in for your dog biscuits, right? 
Okay, friends. So what do you think? Should I use lotion to wash his hands? No, that's right, Chipper. Should I use soap to wash his hands? Yes, okay, sounds good. Well, look at Chipper, look what I have for us. I have some soap and water. Should we try wash your hands? Okay, and let's sing a song. You know what we normally do to wash our hands, Chipper? We sing, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little wants to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Sing with me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. <gasps> Chipper, look. <gasps> we washed them. We got your paws all clean, right? Okay, are you ready for a dog biscuit? Okay. Well, I'm going to bring Chipper in for his dog treat, right, Chipper? But let's sing the B-I-B-L-E song, okay, Chipper? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E Bible. <laughs> good job. Bye, Chipper. You know, he did such a good job washing his hands with me today. And so let's read our Bible story. And then I have to get back in so that Chipper can get his dog treat. So here we go. <gasps> oh, look. Jesus is washing his disciples' feet. <gasps> the Passover meal was ready, but the disciples needed to clean up. So Jesus poured water into a bowl. Like a common servant, he began washing the disciples' dirty, smelly feet. Was that kind of like Chipper today? He had dirty feet, didn't he? But it was nothing that we couldn't wash up. Stop, Peter cried. You shouldn't serve us like this. If you want to be my friend, Peter, I must wash your feet. Jesus explained, when I wash your feet, your whole body will be clean. When Jesus finished washing their feet, he told the disciples, follow my example and find ways to serve others too. Hmm. Kind of like I helped Chipper wash his feet today. You can help a friend with something too, just like Jesus. And we want to be just like Jesus and love others. That's what we're learning about all this month is to love others. And a way to do that is to serve them. So friends, what's coming up next? See Corinne color. I can't wait for you to see what she's gonna color with you today. So go grab your markers, your pens, your paper, and let's see what she's gonna color today. to see Korean color. Hey friends, hasn't it been such a good day today? I know it has. And did you guys see Chipper earlier? His paws were so dirty. But luckily, Miss Chris had some soap and some water and she washed his paws. Hmm, that reminds me of our Bible story. In our Bible story, we heard about how Jesus washed his friend's feet. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes your feet can get really dirty, huh? And I imagine his friend's feet were really dirty, probably even dirtier than chippers. But Jesus got down and he washed their feet. And he said, I want you guys not to come to be served, but to serve others. Go out and show love to others. Wash their feet. Help them when they're sick. Maybe they fell down. Help them up. He wants us to love others. 
Isn't Jesus so amazing? I know, right? Now, oh, look what I have right here. Do you guys have a piece of paper also? You do? How about we color? Are you guys ready to color today? Yeah? All right, hmm. How about we draw a bar of soap and some water? I think that'll be pretty fun. Let's try it. Now, for the bar of soap, we're gonna draw a rectangle. We've been drawing these quite a bit recently, so you guys should be pros at this, okay? But if at any point you need help, you can raise your hand and one of your teachers will help you, okay? Now, so right here, let's draw a rectangle. So I'm gonna draw a little line going down, and then we're gonna draw a longer line going across the bottom of our page. So across. Now come up here where you first started and draw another line going across your page, okay? See, just like that. Now stop though, and we're gonna draw one more line going down. So draw one more line going down, and this is gonna be our bar of soap. Now soap. When you put it in your hands and you scrub your hands together, kind of like how they scrub Chipper's pot, it makes bubbles. So we're gonna add some bubbles to this so it really looks like soap. Now for my bubbles, I'm just gonna draw a whole bunch of small circles. So you're just gonna go around and around in circles. So ready, just add a whole bunch of bubbles all over the place. Oh, I wanna add some more over here because this is, this is a bar of soap that's been used to clean a lot of hands. Or maybe even feet. Ooh. Just like our Bible story. All right, so there's my bar of soap. It's got a lot of bubbles on it. Now we need some water. So let's draw a cup of water, okay? So for my cup of water, I'm gonna draw a line going down. So draw a line going down. Now draw one going across the bottom. And we're gonna draw a line going back up. This is our cup, which holds our water. But it looks kind of empty right now, so we need to add some water. Now, to make it look like there's water in it, I'm gonna draw a squiggly line going across the cup, okay? So just draw a squiggly line, just go up and down across. And then fill it in with water, fill it in, fill it in, ah! You gotta fill it all in, can you guys fill it all in? Make it look like there's so much water in there. All right, there we go, now it's full of water. Hmm, I bet you guys could use this to wash someone's feet, huh? Now, can I see yours? I wanna see yours. Look, I'm gonna put my goggles on so I can see. All right, hold up your papers, I'm coming in. Whoa, look at that bar of soap. Ooh, and that's some really good water. Ooh, wow, you guys did so good, friends. Now, did we just draw soap because Miss Corinne likes drawing bubbles? No, we drew it to remember us, to remind us about our Bible story. In it, Jesus washed his friend's feet. And that was how he was showing them love. And he wants us to show others that we care for them and love them too. So if a friend falls down on a playground, you can help them up. Maybe a friend needs to pick up all their toys. You can help them with that too. Or maybe you can turn on the sink for them when they go to wash their hands. Whatever it is to show kindness to others, help take care of them. Isn't that so amazing? But I do wanna say, make sure though, if they say they're good, they don't need help, don't help them. Okay, friends? But there's so many cool things you can do, okay? So think about some ways today in this class, you can help others, all right? Hey, friends! We're here to do the Bible verse with hey. you. And I can't wait because it's all about love. Oh, love. And like, I love Miss Corinne. And I love Miss Carissa. <laughs> but I also love Jesus. Ooh. Do you guys love Jesus too? Yeah. Yes. Oh, so that makes my heart so happy. It's all about loving others though. Miss Corinne, okay. what are those actions again? Mm. Oh, love. So give yourself love. a big hug. Your, your neighbors. neighbors. Point at your friends. As yourself. Good job. Matthew 22, 39. All right. Can we say that all together? Yeah, yeah. I'm all ready. ready. I'm ready. So love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 39. Hmm, you know, I think we know that one. I, I do, we, I do. I we know I do. it good enough I to do. say it super fast. Oh, super fast, super fast. Oh, super, super fast. You okay, guys ready? I think you guys need to stand but up. But we gotta do the motions. Uh, you still okay. gotta do the motions, okay. okay? Do the motions. Yeah. We need to hear you. And I think they mm -hmm. should stand up. Oh yeah, you guys need okay. to be standing stand up. up. Come on, stand up, come on. stand up. Okay. Oh, they're up. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? stand up. Ready, here we go. Ready? ready? And love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 39. 22, 39. Ooh, I think we need to do that a few more times. Oh, I was really bad, yeah. Miss Corinne. And I think we can 
better and faster. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready now. All right, all right. Love your neighbor as yourself. Nothing to break through the night. Ooh, that we got one a little bit better. Good. Okay, you guys do it again. Yeah, ready? Here we go. Ready? Faster. And ready? Love, Love your neighbor as yourself. yourself. Message 2239. Oh, yeah! You guys were so good. Okay, maybe Ooh. you want to do it in slow motion. Love your neighbor. Or maybe you want to keep going to fast. Mm -hmm. You guys get to decide now. It's your guys' turn. Yeah. Learn that memory verse mm -hmm. and love others. Oh, yeah. <laughs>